in um good morning we're um we're online we're going to be doing an online testimonial so thank you very much for um joining me this morning um one of the main reasons we do this is for new clients coming on board um and wanting to know the actual process um you know they want to know who i am is it uh, does it does does um, what i say follow through the build time to the communication etc so more importantly, before we start, just tell us in a little caption, a little bit about yourself. Uh, well, I'm 59, um, 31 again, 30 again, 30 again, wherever it is. Um, I, work as a, I work as a um, uh, workplace health and safety manager with Vodafone, all now called TPG. Um, I've had investment properties before and, and uh, I just went through a divorce. I'm a single dad, so uh, with a teenage, had a teenage girl with me for a while there. <laughs> he went off the rails a bit. So um, I, the delay was because I had to change jobs. She went through a mental health crisis, as you know, and I came back to Newcastle, so I left a really good job in Sydney to be there to support her. Um, in that period of 12 months, I had like six jobs in 12 months, it's horrendous, and finally settled where she got sorted, went back to Sydney and back to my career, which is where I am now, hence why there was a two-year delay, I think it was, Jackie, for yeah. me, from when I spoke to you first and um, your presentation with Phil and yourself. Um, to when I actually engaged your services. Yeah. Um, so so um, it's been a, it has. It's been a very interesting journey. Just um, and um, you know, you, you mean you you're, you're in work for so many years, and then just the last chapter was just um, was you know um, pretty crazy for you. But everything settled down now, which is great. The next question is: What's the main reason you decided to engage UIFFF and Lockyer Financial Services to help you with your wealth creation needs, as opposed to you, Mr. Ian Nelms, doing this yourself? Um, your expertise. I think you've you've been there and done it. You do it yourself. You actually, you know, you do it. You don't just talk about it. Engage people to do it. You do it. And um, I think Phil and yourself are a good team, and you had all the right documentation, and paperwork, and the numbers worked out. I felt confident in you. I you know I did lose faith in the whole concept of a self-managed super fund at one stage. <laughs> um, uh, so that was probably the main reason. Yeah, just to. I bet you're glad you you did it now. I am now. It's just I mean I don't trust the government to be honest um, with your super. Um, I think having that flexibility to have control of your super and then look at investment properties, which all historically in Australia go up as you know. Just got to buy right, <clears throat> have the right sort of property in in the right areas. So those sort of things are. Pretty cool. I think you've got the expertise, you've got the good contacts, and feels very down to earth, practical sort of guy um, for a financial advisor. And then you've got the ellipse guys doing their accountancy. So it's a whole package, really, isn't it? It's like a absolutely. Yeah. They're um, they're all um, as you know. I've I've got my own financial planning um, certificate and and finance, but I wear I'm the buyer's advocate, so I help you with the property. But I do project manage the whole process. And I let people that specialize in their own industry with their own license basically do their job. So the planner basically does the self money super fund, the financier does that, and then the accountant. And I think that's very, very important. Well, it's um, got but, specialist areas. I and mean, then, as you said, yeah. you over what you override everything, but you're also the person I can contact. And still, you're not my best interest at heart. So, in financial regards so please. absolutely absolutely it's um it's it's very very important for me to understand the client understand their needs and and um and to be able to you know that's why i always say at the beginning just come to me because it could be an accounting question a financial planning question a finance question a bill question it could be you know i just need to know that those questions get answered and um, just going back to that question i was interested just what so what were the main fears of just for someone who's thinking of doing a self money super fund, what were the main fears and and how did you overcome that to actually start the process of the self money super fund? Um, never done it before. I'm not. I'm a safety manager. I'm not a financial person really. So a lot of unknowns. Um, there's a lot of YouTube clips, good and bad, about self money super funds. Uh, the cost to establish it was a bit scary. Um, <clears throat> But I think once you once you go through the process, you understand it is it is complex, but you've got people to help you. So just all the cloud, I didn't really understand the process for it. And I'm not particularly savvy on financial things. Yeah. And, I mean, I pay bills and things, but I'm not, you know, <laughs> I've got shares even in Tesla shares, so, <laughs> um, which have gone up astronomical. But um, 
yeah, just just that process. So self made super fund was new to me. I don't understand how it works. Uh, there's a lot of legalities. Um, Phil was good though. He sort of straightened me out more about um, the bigger picture plus then how it affects you personally. Yeah. Uh, yeah. So and as you know, super goes up and down. You, the, the government obviously entrusting your money with them. <laughs> Um, and the pensions, I don't trust them at all. Um, yeah. COVID costs and all these massive debts we're going to, we're accruing. I wonder, just wonder where they're going to get money money from to pay it all back one day. Um, yeah. So I'd rather have control over it personally. So I th what I hear is at the start, it was very overwhelming. There was the yin and the yang. There was the good and the bad. Where do you start? Um, what's the right setup, especially with all those negatives um, that, that you're seeing on YouTube and things like that? Um, and it's, would you say, would you say that now you've gone through the process that that's, you've got a lot more clarity on that, on the benefits of having the self-managed super fund? Yeah, I do. There's there's a lot more, for me as a director of the trust, there's more paperwork involved, which I, I don't like, but then you've got, you now it's set up. I hate it. <laughs> <laughs> I hate that stuff, but I do it but, for work. But in that, if you've ever got a question, you know you've got us guys to help you, yes? Once it's, yeah, that's right. Once you set up, because there was a delay because of the tax, the tax return because of yeah. various reasons, and then Nicole couldn't process stuff. And then so once it's established, that's that's the hard bit. Like Nicole said, that's getting it set up is a difficult thing. Once it's set up and running and ticking over, it's, it's easy because it's not so hard for the accounts. Yeah. Um, yeah, that part of it's good. The other thing, when you get to over 55, you can um, transition to retirement, so you can actually draw some money out legally, and then I've done my bike from up, as you know, so that part's beneficial. Um, you know, you can, and when you turn 60, it's actually you don't pay tax on it. So there's all those sort of benefits that Phil pointed out. Yeah, yeah. And I'm um, just going back to that, I mean, um, uh, we worked as a team. You, you needed to do your tax return. Obviously, f the builder needed you to settle, the finance. We all work very, very well as a team with communication in relation to that. What What was your feedback on that? Yeah, um, it was it was pretty good. Um, I had to do a bit of chasing, but that's fine. That's what you do. Yeah. Um, well, the, the, the hold up was um, getting my rollover for me. The big hold up was my employer super. Yeah. Getting that rolled over from AMP into my into my account, my super my super account. And because they had not lodged the tax return for the self money super fund, they had a block on it, taxation had a block on it. So that held things up for ages. And then Nicole had to chase up documents, 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 and then get it to the ATO, which only do once a month. They review everything once a month. So it took a month, another delay of a month. So that finally, just yeah, that you, process was... You were in the middle of the COVID-19, which was yeah. delays in every every way. But we got there, didn't we? We yeah. know we incurred penalties, so we... We got you through that. Yeah, I'm, very, I'm very proud of the fact. I now have that lovely property, which you recommended. <laughs> it's a duplex property. It's a brand new property. You've got tenants. Um, and I, I would like to, once um, in a couple of years' time, hopefully I'll start you know, building my wealth up. So Absolutely. I'll plan. Um, just in relation to the property, we'll go there in a minute, um, actually. Just remind me on the actual, we'll talk about the, the dual side of it. Um, so... What was the main reason you decided to engage Unlock Your Financial Future uh, with your wealth creation needs as opposed to you doing this yourself? Uh, expertise. Yeah. The whole package. And, and, and you the crap out of me, so. <laughs> yeah. How long, how long has it taken you personally um, in time to think about, I, I, I want to do something. How, what what was that period of time? Uh, well, prior to the divorce, I, I had two investment properties anyway. Yeah. Uh, so I've done it before myself. So it was through um, what was the name of the company? But that, their prop, their model was really good. That you don't you, you buy a property one every two years or so. Yeah. Historically, every seven years, ten seven to ten years, it doubles in price. So you've got tenants, um, and then you. Ideally, when you retire, you you get it revalued, and you might withdraw a hundred thousand dollars. That's your retirement money, and because it's revalued, the property the property's gone up that amount plus, and you've got tenants, and the, the rent's gone up. So his whole model was that you buy a property regularly, you don't sell them, you always have them tenanted, obviously, and the tenant the the rent goes up gradually with CPI. Your property goes up with whatever rate 
depends on where you buy, obviously. Um, and then so every that, couple yeah. of years. So after your divorce, how long was it before you thought about, after you sold those properties, how long was it for you to engage with UYFF? Uh, 15 years. 15 years, okay. Child, unfortunately, in my case, child support absolutely smacks you around. If you've got an investment property out of not super, yeah. they add the, the rent onto your taxable income and yeah. you get actually smacked. It, so I, that's why I sold the other two. I, I suppose what I'm trying to allude to here is how long have I been chasing you trying to get you on board? Two and a half years. We have a relationship now, right. Becky. <laughs> two and a half years. We have to a few years and we got there, didn't we? I think it's two and a half years, isn't it? Yeah, yeah. yeah. Okay. Uh, yeah. But it was a delay because of, I mean, I was going to do something earlier, but then all the, you know, my daughter's stuff came up. Yeah, no. That's and I, I had to wait six months for probation period, so all that stuff just delayed things. And yeah, the work, it, it, absolutely. You're in long time um, employment, and then all of a sudden, it, um, yeah, it, it started changing the duration of the work. So, just for a new client, how would you describe the process um, in relation to build time, communication, timing, support? That were good. Yep, yeah, I think once. Uh, so that you were my main source for the building when it was built. Um, Golden Grove, you gave me a good presentation, which I really liked. You know, when you showed me the property, it was actually yeah. not just the property, but it was the surrounding area. Uh, the business development in the area as well, Logan Reserve, and then just all the other bits with it. <clears throat> I thought that was quite a good snapshot. And you kindly shared that with me. Because um, I had people say Logan's a rough area of Brisbane. Why are you buying in Logan? It's not quite like that. <laughs> No, it's not at all. How's that, how's that for perception as well? Yeah. Yeah. Um, when you look at geography, where it's like between Brisbane and the Gold Coast, it's sort of halfway point. Um, it's, it's a fantastic location, and where you've bought in a, a a nice, quiet little cul-de-sac as well, which is brilliant. Yeah, and the, the tenants are great. So yeah, Ray White was good. Um, yeah, the people looking after the property up there. So uh, Jess, yeah. Jessica Dunn, she's been really helpful. So she's she's been really good. How was the build time? Because um, I got on the tail end of it, it was, it was fine. I, I think yeah. I waited a month since I showed interest in it, put a deposit down. And then just the delay in the finance part was like a couple of months before yeah. I went. And how was the um, the finance um, process as well? Painful. <laughs> Painful? <laughs> it's well, it's no, a company, no, isn't it? Yeah. Oh, just can you send me that? Can you give me a copy of that? Oh, that's outdated now. You know, like you have to get another copy of your records for your for your super. Another statement, you know. Um, so because because it got delayed, that was the biggest problem. It otherwise, would have been pretty straightforward. What's the difference between now you've gone through the process? Can you imagine trying to do this on your own, as opposed to tapping um, into my my company? I Did you say I no straight away? I wouldn't, I wouldn't do it. I, I mean, the self-managed super funds a benefit in my situation. You do it for the fun, so. Outside of the fund, um, like you could you could do it, um, but I, I really, I mean, I, I know the property, you know, somewhere around the coast, five on a major, you know, thoroughfare transport hub. Like I won a Carina in Cleveland in Brisbane. They're great suburbs. And I had good returns, and um, that was because it's near the Carina shopping centre. It was a you know, townhouse, brand new, fly screens, all the right things in it. So it was a good property. It went up, you know. Like, so I know what I'm looking for, um, but. Uh, the self money super fund just gave me the flexibility to, until I stopped paying child support in a couple of years, I uh, gave me the flexibility, not impact on my child support, but also allow me to invest back in a property. And then hopefully in two years' time, I, I'll do it again. Sure. And, uh, so I suppose the clarity I'm trying to get here for a new client is um, if you had to do this, you, if, if you looked at this again and A, you did it yourself, or B, you used Unlock Your Financial Future. What were the main reasons um, um, and in relation to the benefits for a client using UYFF? Um, <clears throat> so for you, you personally, it's your contacts and, and the property selections that you have. You've obviously done a lot of research in it and you link up with builders and you'll pick out the, the good properties in good locations. So that part's very invaluable. That's, you can't get that intelligence unless you're involved in it like you are. Yeah. Um, your accountancy team are great, separate to Phil, who's excellent. Um, yeah, just the accountancy part, the like depreciation schedules and, um, yeah, and, and the property selection, where good returns. I, I, don't want, I don't want, I want a property that's going to go up, not not 
fantastic, but go up in value with rent and all those have tenants. Yeah. So you want the contract plus you want good return. And I look after the tenants. It's a two-way street, you know, I want to make sure I look after my tenants as well. So yeah. might, I'd like to get solar put on and maybe some landscaping down the track. I spoke to Ray White about it. So. Okay. And in relation to the actual builder, the actual quality, the build time, the communication? Yeah, it looks good. I haven't seen it yet. <laughs> I've, yeah. I've, I'll have to get up there. I know. I won't okay. stream you away from, from New South Wales. Let's talk a little bit about your property. Your property is um, a dual lock, so it's one house with two rents. Um, yeah. It's in the Logan Reserve area, which is a, a great little estate. It's a nice little reserve. Purchase price was five eighty six seven hundred, and one part is rented out for three sixty, and the other part is three ten, so six seventy. So you're getting near. You're just you're you're about six six percent yield. Yeah, brilliant. Yeah. Yeah. So just um, um, like I said to you before, we've actually got properties where um, jewels <coughs> five five thirty and renting out for eight eight fifty. So wow. really 8.5%. So I think it's very important when the client is looking at this testimonial to actually understand it is real and you got your property. Your property was pretty much rented out straight away um, because the builder built it. And um, while you were, you know, um, certainly tax returns, there was no construction loan. And pretty much when you basically settled, the uh, we already had tenants already sitting in there for you, correct? I did, that's correct. And the good thing too, also with the agents up there, they did a really good screening. So they gave you that thorough, you know, the history, the good tenants, um, you know, the, their situation, their work in, how much they earn. So it was a really good snapshot of, without being in their privacy, yeah. a snapshot there, they're good tenants and uh, they've got steady incomes, you know, they have no history of issues of damage in your property. Yeah. I can also give you insurance if you want, like, you know, uh, mortgage insurance. And, uh, rental, sorry, is it rental and building? Yes, yeah, so you've got your landlord insurance and you've got your landlord, that's right. yeah. yeah. So what we do at Unlock Your Financial Future, um, I've got admin staff and what we do um, with the UIFF fee that you pay, we do the defect report, we do the depreciation, we basically manage you throughout the whole process and we refer business to property managers for free. The main goal for them, for us, is to get your property rented. So. Pretty much we indicate, as soon as we get notice from the builder, we indicate that to the property manager that they, they get you to, um, they introduce themselves, you complete the form. And the whole idea, as soon as we've got, they've got the keys to the property, they go in and take photographs. And that basically was a very, very, very smooth process um, in relation to your property. Yeah. Correct? Yeah, it was good. Yeah, I yeah. Can't, can't fault it, to be honest. Um, so, what are, what I'm trying to get here is what are the main benefits you see for a new client coming on board working with Unlock Your Financial Future? Um, again, it's just your expertise um, and and the whole package. You're not you're not like you're not you're not saying just this property. I recommend this property. You're saying I can also help you with the accounts. They talk to each other. They know each other. You know, Phil is very as I said, very down to earth, um, lovely fellow. You know, he knows his stuff. So setting up your phone, cell phone super fun was really good, very um, proficient. You're, you're very personable. So, you, you know, you came to, to my house with Phil, which is a long trip coming up from, I'm in Newcastle, as yeah. you know, came from Sydney on a weekend, I think it was. <laughs> Memory. Yeah, I think so. <laughs> Third boards on the roof, I think. I <laughs> <laughs> no, it's just that whole, the whole package and um, uh, everyone's uh, expertise. Yeah. Um, yeah, and they are. They've got their own licenses, the experts in their own area, but we all work together to support you. And definitely for anybody watching this testimonial, you know, that that time when you have to do your tax return, liaise with the ATO, finance, builder, we all did that in the background, holding it all together and um, ultimately and, and a tenant in place. So end result was settlement happened, finance went through, tax return done and and also you've got everybody in place for moving forward because with the self money super fund you've got to, you've got to, you've got to do a tax return and it's got to be externally audited so you've got everything in place for that to actually happen yeah i think it's going to be easy next tax return it, it will uh, be yeah, <laughs> so, <laughs> so, 
And your loan also, because the brokers are, 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 are the, the amazing brokers, they also are enabled to um, access a product that has an offset account with yes. your self money super fund loan. So yeah. the transition from the holding account where you're, where we did the rollovers, um, now your money will be obviously in the, in the offset accounts working for you. It reduces the interest on the, um, on the mortgage. Very good, Ian. 10 out of 10. <laughs> I'm learning something. <laughs> <laughs> you can't call a friend on this one. You can't oh. allow to. Oh, right. Okay, so the very last question is, which you've already done for us very kindly, would you be happy to recommend um, unlock your financial services to um, existing clients? Yes, I already, already have. You have, I, I yes. Think, I think she's actually just into buying something, I think. She's into bought two. She bought two, that's right. One. Two, yeah. So, yeah, she's a greedy lady, she is. <laughs> <laughs> she's the most organised person I've ever met. We, lo we love her. She's like 10 out of 10. Yeah, she does a straight away, like as soon as we need something, just sent us onto it. Oh, gosh, she should be my accountant. She's <laughs> awesome. I think she was a captain in the army, so she's that methodical. She's, she's very methodical. Yeah, she, she is. is. She no, is. That's, she's really pleased. Um, so I think she's got one, one out of super and one in super or something. She's got, yeah, she's got one outside of super and then one inside of super. And just and just um, in relation to that particular client, they didn't think they could do it. We did a we did a um, um, a val valuation on a property, and um, she could, and we just we just tidied up some of the finances and off she went. So um, so she didn't know what she didn't know until until she actually she met us. So. Um, yeah. So the great client to work with. So thank you very much. And more importantly, it's awesome to be able to help people as well on their wealth creation journey. You know, just funny thing with that. I when I met her, um, I recommended Tesla. I talk about Tesla a lot. You know, with the <laughs> and she bought. I bought some shares because they're doing the split. They had their five one split. Um, so yeah. four, you know, so the split happened in October, I think, or November. Anyway, to her credit, she went and bought some. So um, she's now got some Tesla shares as well. So wow! She, wow! So. There yeah. you go, the wealth creation um, that's it, that's it. influencer. That's it. <laughs> okay, all right. Well, look, I just want to say thank you very much. That's going to be really, really helpful for somebody new coming on board that wants to know, you know, can they trust us? Do we follow through with what we do? And would you recommend? So you've gone tick, tick, tick and all of that, which is brilliant. Lovely. Okay, and I was the world record longest person. <laughs> Um, and there might be people like me out there. I imagine I'm quite unique. <laughs> Single dad, um, my daughter had some mental health issues, uh, which I, I gave up a really good job, as you know, with Optus in Sydney, well paid, been there a long time to do the right thing by my family, which was difficult for me and her. Uh, yeah. And then uh, she got through it, which is the right thing to do for 12 months or 15 months. But hats off to you as well, because what, what people can take from that, Ian, is we all get different um, blocks in our lives. And uh, we've, you know, at the end of the day, um, it's so important to get back on track with your wealth creation plan. And yeah. um, because one day you're going to be retiring and you need to make sure you've got enough money there for your retirement. So there will be obstacles in life, but we've got to just, you know, as soon as we've pushed through those to get back on board. And we did, we got there. So yeah. um, it's never too late, is it? It's not, doesn't matter if you're 30 or. It's never too late to start. If you're 30 or you're 60, I suppose, 65, whatever. Yeah. You know, have a crack at it. Absolutely. Absolutely. And thank you for being so transparent there because that's really, really helpful if people are going through a tough time in life, whatever it is, yeah. um, to actually realise it, 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 that, you know, there's hope, there's vision, there's light, and um, to keep on pushing through. And you, you will difficult. be as well. We, we haven't finished with you. Oh, I'm, oh my God. No, you haven't. I'm, I'm, <laughs> keen, I'm keen to go again. I want to have a crack. So <laughs> I'll have to get you and fill up for lunch. Um, but I'll, I'll probably leave it for a year or so. Um, yeah. As you know, when my daughter turns 18 and she's 16, it all child support stops. That frees up quite a bit of money. Um, and then I want to invest in another property. Um, and if I hear it's the money at some stage, it's my folks be 93, 95. Yeah, um, I want to use that money wisely that to you know benefit the hard work they've done. So I'd probably look at investment property. Absolutely. You know? and, um, and hats hats off to you because I know divorce can be you know trying. I've, I'm divorced myself, and um, but it's very very important to stay on track and you know put that oxygen mask on yourself, which will in inevitably help you and help them as well. Very true. Yeah.
So yeah. I just want to say thank you very much and um, have a great Christmas. You too, Jess. Enjoy your new bathroom that you've renovated. Three bathrooms now. Two. <laughs> when you're coming through, you have to pop in. I'll, I'll shout you a coffee. Or okay, that sounds good. The bathrooms are really, really good. Okay, well, I'll check out the two bathrooms. <laughs> All right, Ian. Thanks, lovely, and have a great Christmas. See you, Jackie. Thanks for your All help. All right, see you, lovely. Bye.